Welcome to Gothenburg and this test drive of the new Volvo FH. Before heading out, make sure to go through the pre-trip checklist. The first thing you'll notice is the redesigned cab. It features a new grille, larger iron mark, and our signature V-shaped headlamps. We've also moved the side indicators outwards for improved aerodynamics and better visibility. Once inside the cab, you'll immediately notice our new dashboard with smart storage components and the high-resolution instrument display. To the side, you have our new side display, used for infotainment, navigation, transport information and camera monitoring. We also have a new ergonomic iShift gear selector. Trunks equipped with the side display also have the option of a corner camera. This camera is positioned on the passenger side and covers the blind spot. As you're getting ready to head out, choose the load view in the main display to get an overview of your cargo weight. Then go to navigation view to check your directions. Once selected, go back to the home view and you're ready to hit the road. On the road, you have the ability to switch between different drive modes. Drive modes influence gear shifting strategy and IC behavior. Standard mode balances gear shifting strategy and IC strategy for a more balanced dynamic between drivability and fuel economy. IC is a function that analyzes the topography of the road ahead and dictates how the truck handles uphill climbs and downhill descents. It decides when and how the truck accelerates during the climb and when to stop accelerating during the descent. The exact process of how this is done is decided by which drive mode is currently engaged. When the IC system is activated, you will have a symbol in the display. IC is available in economy and standard drive mode. While driving, use the cruise control key on the steering wheel to activate cruise control or adaptive cruise control. Once you've reached your desired speed, press the set key to set it as your cruising speed. You can use the plus or minus key to adjust the speed. Deactivate cruise control by braking or pressing the zero key. You can still resume your cruise control by pressing the resume key. You can also take advantage of our stop and go function. After stopping at a red light when using cruise control, once it is time to go, quickly tap the gas pedal and the truck will automatically resume its original cruising speed. While using cruise control, you can set up overspeed by pressing the overspeed key. Underspeed is determined by the truck's current speed and which drive mode is engaged, but you can choose your own overspeed. The settings are clearly visible on the speedometer. In economy mode, underspeed is preset to 5 km per hour when driving at 65. If speed is increased to 75, underspeed is set to 10 km per hour. In standard mode, underspeed is preset to 2 km per hour when driving at 65. 
If speed is increased to 75, under speed is set to 5 km per hour. If you are driving downhill, press the downhill cruise control key to activate downhill cruise. During downhill, you can use the brakes without deactivating the downhill cruise control. Just like during regular cruise control, you can adjust your speed using the plus or minus keys. At the end of the hill, you can resume cruise control by pressing the cruise control key. At low speed, you can change the direction of travel without having to stop the truck. You can go directly from driving forward into reverse or the other way around using the gear selector. The truck automatically stops and starts going in the direction of the selected gear. There is no need to use the brake pedal. Everything is controlled by the accelerator pedal. The harder it is pressed, the faster the truck will brake by itself and change direction. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the new Volvo FH and some of its features. If you'd like to know more, feel free to consult the driver guide.